Let's go to this other matter. You said the Morrison speech was too long and lacked any theme and, quote, consistently consisted mainly of spending promises, most of them indistinguishable from Labor's promises. Which brings us to national security, where the Prime Minister said, quote, we've committed more than $100 billion over the next two decades, $100 billion, to develop a sovereign guided weapons enterprise. Is that true? No, it's not. It's more or less an outright fib by the Prime Minister. Um, and so this government talks great talk on national security. I agree with everything they say, but they're, they're not actually doing anything. They're not going to deliver a new weapon for decades and decades and decades. But on this matter, these two figures, they've committed $1 billion. So that's 1% of what the Prime Minister said to a sovereign guided weapons enterprise in Australia. So that means factories in Australia making the missiles that we use in our defence But wasn't that announced two years ago? was announced two years ago and it's been announced almost every week ever since. It gets re-announced again and again and again and a credulous press keeps thinking it's a new thing. But nothing happened on it for two years. Just a couple of weeks ago, they announced who the industry partners are. So the enterprise hasn't started yet. They've just... They're in talks about talks and it'll be years before we get a single factory. Now, the $100 billion figure is all the money that we're scheduled to spend on missiles almost all of which are imported at the moment. We have a tiny little bit of manufacturing of parts of some missiles, but 99.9% of it is imported. So that's all the missiles we're going to import, plus all the infrastructure around them, all the command and control systems, which we also import, all that sort of thing. That is not part of our sovereign guided weapons enterprise. That's just missiles that we're going to use. So the Prime Minister has conflated the figure, the total figure for everything we're going to spend on missiles in the next 20 years, which will be almost entirely spent in foreign lands on foreign companies with his $1 billion promise to create a, 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 a missile factory in Australia. Now, that is as close to an out-and-out -out, uh, fib as you get. And the government does this all the time in national security. It's, its figures are so ropeable, and, uh, or so ropey rather, not ropeable, so ropey and unreliable. Um, the poor old Normal member of the public doesn't follow these no. things and it just sounds impressive. Well, just OK, okay. Wow. okay. You, you say that's untrue. Well, what about the announcement that the government allocated $10 billion to build a base for our future nuclear-propelled submarines to be acquired under AUKUS on the East Coast? Hasn't that been announced long ago, long before AUKUS? Absolutely. So... Um, I think this is going to cause me to fall off the government's Christmas card list, Alan, but there you go. It's a, that's a, a sacrifice I'm willing to make. But in the government's uh, defence strategic update and similar documents, it said we're going to need an East Coast base for our submarines. So this is back when we were building the French submarines. So we're going to get 12 new submarines. We're going to need to keep some of them on the East Coast and some of them on the West Coast, because otherwise if a bad guy comes to the East Coast and they're all on the West Coast, it takes you three months to get round to confront the bad guy, you know. So then the night before the government made this big $10 billion, and it, alloc and it said this will be between 6 to $10 billion. So that was about two years, two, two years or more ago. Then on the night before the Prime Minister's speech announcing this big, fabulous new base somewhere in the East Coast, they still haven't decided where, the Prime Minister's speech was released to the media, including me, and it said $10 billion for this new base. There was no timeline. Then, so we all thought it meant $10 billion, you know, in the now, near future, yeah. sort of next year or the year mm. after, or mm. now, for goodness sake. But, of course, now is a word that never applies to this government and defence. <laughs> and then when the speech was delivered the next day, there was a phrase in it which had not been part of the speech as distributed to the press, which said $10 billion over the next 20 years. Now... Alan, you, you'd know this better than me, but a government which is promising what it's going to spend in 20 years' time, it, mm. it's, that's a kind of a science fiction promise. It, yeah. it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So, again, it's an impressive headline so, with no substance. It's so all this, no cattle. 